Well, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the garage. So I thought to myself, ah, it's been a rough day. I'm just going to watch people's YouTube videos and not do anything. And then I remembered, oh, yeah, uh, Mr. Mike at Nitro Speed put out that Camaro challenge. I said, why not? I've got a few Camaros that I really, really, really like. This being one of them, the Zaymac from this year, or last year, rather. So I thought, you know what, let's just do it. Uh, just grab a couple of the ones of your favorite ones. Don't bring them all out, Chuck. It'll be here forever. <laughs> so I did. I just brought out a few of the castings that I really, really like. Um, I do have different versions of these, and I'll show you here in a second. Um, Camaros are a nice car. They've been a nice car for a long time. Fantastic cars. And uh, the fact that we have so many different generations of Camaros... And Hot Wheels has produced every single generation of them. I mean, come on, starting since 68 when, when they came out, uh, we've had some great versions of them. So I thought, let's go ahead and just work through there and I'll show you my favorite ones. Uh, this one again, like I said, last year's Zamac. Boom, one of my favorites. Looks fantastic in silver, black interior is right. I don't mind the gray wheels, I like them. I like the smoke windows on it. Fantastic casting, one of my favorite Zamacs to date. Um, absolutely so I'll go ahead and get this out the way and I, I have a couple of these these are all the same uh, casting that's a custom there by Cecil Miller but uh, I absolutely do love this Camaro Pro Stop uh, one of my favorite castings of all time especially the moon eyes especially the moon eyes in the satin black fantastic man absolutely great you can see Cecil did the details Cecil sent me all these by the way uh, Cecil Miller at Cecil's Diecast. Yeah, these are just a bunch of random act of kindness that he threw in a box for me on some stuff that I'd bought. Fantastic castings, man. I love these. I have a custom somewheres. Maybe I don't. Maybe I've done send it off to one of y'all. I don't know. <laughs> this garage sucks, y'all. <laughs> There's crap everywhere. I ain't lying. There are boxes and, and everything everywhere. But uh, one of my favorite castings the Camaro Pro Stock, absolutely one of my favorites. Uh, take these off. And I got the turntable to work by having to plug it in permanently. Ah, it is what it is. Uh, let's do this one. This is one of my favorites as a kid. Love this Camaro. Uh, I think this is the second one I had. I had two as a kid. Had to have two, man. I got a scratch on one, had to have a, one that wasn't scratched. So this one has survived with me through the years. Uh, it's been boxed in a case, man, in a case with all my other ones. And uh, yeah, I take it out every now and then just because it's fantastic. And I'm sure there's no interior because of that solid black window, but I don't care. I love this casting. This is one of my favorite castings as a kid. Fantastic, man. That Z28 on the side, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So, and we're not going in any particular generation, just the ones that I really, really like. Uh, this was a Walgreens exclusive from last year. I have threatened to do details on them, but I haven't. I need to. I need to. And not that I just drill it apart, detail up the lights, and clear coat it one more time. I think we'll be fine. Don't you run, son. Don't you run off that turntable. Got my eye on you, boy. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. That one. Fantastic, one of my favorite ones. Love this green, man. This green is just fantastic. Black stripes, very clean. 70 for the year I was born. I'll take it. Uh, thank you, Mattel, for recognizing my my generation. <laughs> All right, let's get to these because these I absolutely love. And uh, let's see, you get the hood open on this one so you can see it. Oh, really? Well, we're just gonna be like that, are we? Trying to give you the spotlight here. Y'all gonna be contrary. But uh, the Matchbox moving parts from last year. I love this Camaro. Uh, the blue one did not get the engine detail. For whatever reason, they didn't want to splurge the extra money on it. Red one, exact same model. Came out second. It has the engine details. I don't know what it is. But you can kind of see it as it comes around. Pretty nice detailing on there. There we go. There we go. Y'all stay on there now. Fantastic castings. One of my favorites. One of my most recent favorites at that. So, 
Uh, you, you know we gotta do this. You know we have to do the cop cars. <laughs> so this is one that Mr. Rat Black sent. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. It's a Monopoly car, but you can't really tell what it is. I'm fine with it. Love it. Love the lights on the top. Fantastic. Hood does open on this one as well. See if it'll be nice. Not uh, not detailed up, but it does open. Fantastic casting. So, yeah. If there's going to be a Camaro and it's going to be a cop car, it's going to be in this in this video. So this is my other <coughs> oh, cheese and crackers. Wow. That hurt. <coughs> yeah, man. Allergies is killing me. Absolutely killing me. Been windy the last couple of days for the last week, actually. But yeah, this is one that I poorly detailed up, but I love it. California Highway Patrol. It's freaking sweet, man. It's got that nice color break from the interior for the hood scoops there, the vents. Fantastic casting. Love it. Absolutely love it. Came out in the uh, missing logo uh, promotion that they did. And then this one. Not a bad looking car. Love the bigger lights on the top. Absolutely love it. Again, I did detail this one up myself poorly but I like it it ain't going to no one is my car I only got the one happy to have it so fantastic those sit in the jammer next to the other cop cars brother and sisters that they are and then the last car man last car we got and you can't put a Camaro challenge out without showing it and it's probably one of my favorite ones and probably the best looking red line that I have uh, the heavy Chevy y'all yeah original Boom, baby. Nice, nice, nice. Blacked out the front. It's got the nice red line wheels on there. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. One of my prized possessions. Found that in a flea market in Odessa, Texas. I want to say back in 1991 before I got married. Yeah. Uh, I think I paid a whole two bucks for it, man. That was a lot of money for a guy <laughs> that was only working three days a week part-time. I was lucky to have everything I had, man. But yeah, one of my favorite castings of all time. I know a lot of you guys love them. I know Mr. Peter at Old Man Diecast recently showed some videos of him restoring them. That's what He said that's what started his channel was this casting. So I know it's one of his favorites and it's one of mine as well. But anyway, y'all, uh, that's all I got. I want to say thanks to Mr. Mike over at Nitro Speed for issuing the challenge. And I want to say, Mr. Mike, I continue to pray for you. Uh, you know, pray that your chemo goes well and that you go into remission and everything is great. And we also continue to pray for Mr. Gary at Gary's Diecast Collection. Another great uh, gentleman in the community. Uh, also going through some health issues right now. So, sir, I continue to pray for you and I can continue to pray for Mr. Gary. I know y'all are friends. Um, but that being said, y'all, that's all I got. Uh, tomorrow's Monday. A lot of us go back to work. Wish you the best week ever. If you're hunting, I hope that you find everything that you can. Everything that you're looking for, for sure. And that being said, as always, be safe, be well, and be kind. Always be kind. Until the next time you're at the garage, I'll see you later, grease monkeys. <laughs>